Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to take you through the assignment 0, 0, 1 on C based on variables if, else, and while. So before we go on uh, to do the assignment, ensure at personal level you go through the resources that has been provided. We have uh, everything that you need to know to start uh, with C, which is on PDF the keywords and the identifiers. We have the integers, arithmetic operators in C, if statement in C, if else statement, relational operators, logical operators, while in C, and uh, lastly, the while loop. So those are the resources that has been provided for us to go through. Then the next part, ensure that you also go through this particular part. Then the next part, the objective. The objective of this part is uh, by the end of uh, the lesson or by going through those provided material, you should be able to at least do the thing that has been listed here. For example, what are the arithmetic operators and how to use them. Then uh, how to use command how to declare variables among others. Then the next part, you need not forget the copyright issues, then the general requirement. You're allowed to use the editor VHI Vim Emacs. All your file will be compiled in Ubuntu using the GCC, using the option world where Extra, Patrick, and STDI. All your files should head up with the new line. A readme file at the root of the folder of the project. So ensure that you go for those points. For the quiz, quiz is a very simple one. So these are the answers for the quiz. Number one, it's supposed to be A. As you can see, the answer for number one. The answer one is this one. Two, this one and uh, three this one for question number one then uh, if at all you had gone through the notes you'll find uh, this particular quiz quite easy for you then number one we have uh, the size of a float a float size is about four bytes then number two the size of a hand signed integer or int it's about also four bits then the next question question three these are the answers we have uh, these one we are select supposed to use the if statement we have uh, that one these are the one and those are the two correct answers that we have then question number four for the question number four we are supposed to use a for statement following uh, the nsi and the betty compliant for this one for the four answer one answer two and answer three then the last part is uh, what is the size of the character data type. A character data type goes for one bit. Okay, now that's not uh, really important. If at all you have gone uh, through the resources that have been provided, you will find the question quite easy for you to. You will find it uh, easy for you to do. Okay, okay. Now let's move to the next part for the other task. We are supposed to add our GitHub repo on the ALX low level programming. We are supposed to create a directory named as the, the variable if as well. And the first file should be a positive or the negative. So what you are supposed to do on uh, the next file. Okay, let me let me open my my sad box. I will take the shortest time possible because I know by now we have uh, some basics on uh, how to go about it. Okay. So, lists, then supposed to be CD, CD, ELX, low level. Then uh, season, I'll try to open it. Um, in fact, 
and already created uh, the file the 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 directory the directory zero zero one variable but uh, if you still have a challenge on how to create it eh, i will just show you how to go about it so what you are supposed to do make directory assuming that uh, had not made data eh? you are supposed to use the command mkdr make directory then you paste you paste the name that you have been given now let us assume that uh, the name that has been given is this one but since it already exists it already exists let me try to make some uh, let me create a while too so that it can look a little bit different so what i've done i've made the third directory let me try to see whether it exists so it's this one so the most important part for this one i wanted to show you how to go about uh, making of the directory so you just use the command mkd hal so this is now the correct the correct thing zero multiply zero one variable evs while but i've created this one with the two so that uh, i can show you how to go about it then the next step you are supposed to let me see you are supposed to before you do anything else you are supposed to read me your file so for you to do that open 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 your open your directory this is my directory okay try to open it copy then um, cd i paste let me see whether there is anything inside. Just as you can see, there is nothing inside. So what you are supposed to do is to insert the readme. So vi copy, copy this one, copy, then readme, then enter button. It will take you to this point. Insert. There are so many things that you can write here. You can maybe write the number of uh, tasks that we have. Nothing positive. Copy. Then uh, paste here. Then number two. Task number two. We have the last digits. So you can copy all the document that uh, the files, rather the files that you have been given then move to the next part i'll copy this one then the next part So you need to copy all the way to the last assignment. So we have number 11. It's a very simple concept. As long as you go through the reading material and uh, the other part. The other part is supposed to be 12 software. Then you copy here. So in between from number 3, ensure that uh, you insert uh, the others number four five six seven eight and the ten in between then after that the next step you escape colon wq enter button wq enter button then the then it will take you to this point try to open open your directory you can see that uh, our readme has been introduced now, having done that, the next step is to do our assignment. Also, still on this part, I will take the shortest time possible, as long as I show you the first part. As a bridge students, what you are supposed to do, get the first concept, second and third, then the others. Try to attempt. That's what we call learning. Not to copy everything. I'm sorry to see this, but that's the reality. So for number one is a positive. Uh, this program will assign a random number 
to the variable n each time it is being executed. Complete the source code in order to print whether the number stored in the variable is positive or negative. So what you're supposed to do, copy this one, copy the file name. Copy the file name, then the high name of the file, enter button, sorry, enter button, insert. Okay, now on this part, I will go back now to my GitHub account so that I can extract the, the code that I already prepared. So this is my code. I will share this one so that you can have uh, an easy time. So I will copy this one and insert on this one. Then I will press uh, escape colon WQ. Okay, so that is my first part. Hope we are together up to that point. Now, repeat the same procedure. V high. Go to the next number. Number one. Number one, which is uh, the last digit. For the last digit, the name of the file is supposed to be one dash last digits C. Copy, paste, the paste here. Now after paste here, enter, insert, press the insert button, then move to these are the, the code that I've already prepared. Copy this one. Then you you paste. Then escape. Then WQ. Then the enter button. Then move to the next part. Assignment 2, which goes by. You write a program that prints the alphabets. You print the, that print the alphabets in lower cases, lower case followed by a new line. So to do that, these are the cons that I've already prepared. The assignment. Supposed to be number two. So I will copy this part, then I paste it on my terminal, then click the enter button, then copy my codes, copy this one. Copy, copy, then I will uh, next step, insert it. So I will paste, then the enter button. Now it will take me to this part. So you repeat the same procedure all the way to the last part. So you do that on uh, this one. On uh, assignment three, behind three, there's three. Then the four, you just repeat the same procedure. Four. Then we have the five, the six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and lastly the twelve. Let me see what other thing what could have happened. Okay, there's a problem, but I'll try to solve it. So I will do number 10. So for number 10, so you just do the same thing that I've done. I'm trying to give a, a short summary so that you don't spend so much time on the video more than you spend on on your work. So the VI, the three dot. 
should be now the, the others. Okay, now let's move to the next part. We have the V high, that is assignment number 10. Then the enter button. Then go to my commands that I've already prepared. We have this one. So copy this one. Then uh, I will paste. I'll paste here, then escape, then WQ, the enter button. Then the next one we have the VI. The next question should be write a program that prints all possible different combinations of three digits. Of three digits. So copy this one, the file name, then VI on the terminal, then paste the name of your file, then insert. I hope that I'm not taking, a, I'm not being so slow. So copy the, the code that I've already prepared. So this one, it should, the main should program that prints all the possible different combination of three digits. The number must be separated, followed by a space that as you can see, So copy, then I'll paste here, then paste, then the enter. Then the enter button. The next step, escape, colon W, Q. Then the last part, that is, uh, that is assignment number 12 software is hitting the world create a program that prints all possible combination of two two digits number so what you're supposed to do copy this one and uh, you paste it on here then go to my codes copy the last part copy this one Copy. Let me see, let me see. Then paste. Then escape, colon, WQ, enter button. Then I, I think I'm through with the last part. Now let's go to the requirement. Okay, the requirement of our task is uh, there should be no error, no warning during the compilation. You are not allowed to use the system. You are not allowed to use the system. Your code should use it. So the next part is to git up. So you git add. Then uh, next step, you git commit sm. Then you can write, uh, you can give a message. So the message, you can pick the message to be this one. The variable, the variable. So this is the, my message. So paste. Okay, let me get rid of uh, this one. This one. And, uh, this other part, then enter button. Then the next part supposed to be now the thing. So git push your assignment after you have the git commit uh, your commands. Then I will uh, try to push. So just as you can see, it has been pushed to Stanley, Beckham, ALX, low level, master. So you can go ahead now to check whether your command, your assignment is correct. So just as you can see, my command, my, my number one is correct, number two, three, four, number four. So I, what I will do on this one, 
so, so that I can give maybe an easy time to grab the concept. I, I will uh, share this one. I will share this one on my YouTube channel so that uh, you can make a, a, a follow. Or rather, you can also extract the the codes easily. So maybe I can give you time to go through what I've done. But the main one, you can't be listening to this. So before you forget, kindly don't forget to subscribe. And in case you have any question, just comment uh, on the comment section. I will answer the question that I will get. Thank you. You can continue watching as you listen to this uh, very interesting one. So these are the, the codes that where you can extract them. So this is code number one for the positive or the integers. Number two. Number 
two, which is supposed to be there. Don't get confused. Two print alphabets. Number three. So this is our number 11. Our last. So these are the codes that we're supposed to use to solve this assignment. 